Hey guys, how's it going? This is uh, Paul from Neptune Systems. I'm uh, doing a follow-up video today from Terrence and I's uh, Black Friday edition Tech Corner, and I thought I would show you guys um, how to make the dose a liquid auto feeder. During the Tech Corner, we used the dose as an automatic bartender. Pretty cool concept. Uh, but I thought um, a more applicable situation for your aquarium would be to be a, the dose a liquid feeder. A lot of those foods are liquid foods that need to stay refrigerated and things like that, um, like Fido, Arctic maybe some mysis, things like that. And um, I'm going to show you today how to make the dough, say, liquid auto feeder um, and keep those foods cold in something like a wine fridge or something. So let's get started. So for the first part of setting up our dose as a liquid feeder is just the physical setup of it. Um, and I recommend to do something like we recommend in our additive task, um, where um, you uh, have the dose above your containers. Those containers could be outside if the food needs to be refrigerated or inside a refrigerator, like a dorm fridge or something like that, if the food needs to be chilled. Um, you don't need to use the DDR, but you could certainly use that inside the refrigerator or put the food in there if you, if you so choose. After physically setting your dose up, you're going to need to measure the dose, the length of dose tubing that you are using. To do this, simply remove the dose head and get a tape measure and measure the length of tubing that you're using both on your in and out tubes. So let's say that we measured 18 inches of tubing in our in tubing. For hypothetical, we'll say that we measured 18 inches of tubing in our out tubing, and there are about four inches of tubing inside the dose head cap. So that means all in all, we're gonna have about 40 inches of tubing in this setup. We need to remember that because that's gonna be important for later. Now that we physically have set up our dose to be a liquid um, auto feeder for our tank, we can get to configuring that dose. The first part of configuring that dose is to head over to our Apex Fusion dashboard. Once we're on our Apex Fusion dashboard, we're gonna click that configuration gear. Next, we're gonna click that profile button. It's the one that looks like a folder. Then we're in our profile menu and we're going to select one of our unused profiles. The first thing we're gonna do is name that profile. I'm gonna name it um, Fido In because I'm feeding Fido Feast and this is the part of the Fido that I wanna put into the tank, all right? Next, I'm gonna make sure that I've selected my profile type to be a dose profile type. The thing we need to do is to choose the dose rate. We're gonna choose 125 milliliters per minute. After choosing the dose rate, we're going to make sure that the pump moves forward because we want to add this liquid food into the tank or the phyto. Okay, now we're going to get to that per dose amount. That's where things start to get a little bit complicated. Remember earlier when I told you that there were 40 milliliters of dose tubing in this in this tank? Well, that matters now because in 12 inches of dose tubing, there is 2.5 milliliters. Okay, which means that overall, just to prime the line, we're going to need to add about 8.5 three milliliters of, um, of food, okay? So the way that we got that is we took the length of tubing times 2.5 milliliters over 12 inches. Or an easier way to think about that is the length of the tubing, which is 40 times 0 0.2083, which gave us that 8.3 milliliters. So now that we have that 8.3 milliliters, we need to now consider the amount of food we want to add. Let's say we want to do 30 milliliters of food, okay? So we take the 30 milliliters of food and we're going to add that to the prime amount. So we take the prime amount plus the food amount, which gives us about 38.3 milliliters or 40 milliliters per dose amount. Now we're going to head back over to Apex Fusion, put that 40 milliliters per dose amount there um, in our profile, all right? Then we're going to make that dose interval about 3,600 seconds. It just needs to be a really big number. Uh, don't make it much smaller than that. Keep the dose count at one. And finally, we're gonna go ahead and update this to Apex Fusion by clicking that update button in the top right hand corner. Now that we've created the profile to add the food into our aquarium, we now need to create a profile to remove the food from the aquarium, to clear the line. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and click on that profile button in the top right hand corner. We're then going to select a new profile and we're going to change the profile type to a dose profile type. I'm going to change the name to something that's meaningful like Fido out. I don't even really care about the spelling right now. Just want to get the meaning there. I want to change next my dose rate. 
that dose rate I'm going to change to 250 milliliters per minute and then I want to change the direction of the pumps going to run I want to run it in reverse because I want to clear the line to put the food back into the container which is in the refrigerator I'm going to put a dose amount that's far more than I need it'll be like 200 milliliters or so after I've changed out the 200 milliliters I want to make that dose interval 3600 seconds so far larger than I need to it just needs to be a big number and then I want to make that dose count one after we've gotten all of these values in place, we're going to go ahead and update this to Apex Fusion and um, the profiles get sent. So now we can finally go to, go to the win part of all this. So next we need to go to your dose outlet. To do that, we're going to go ahead and click on the folder icon in the top left hand corner. We'll click on it again to get to your outlets. And now we're going to select your dose pump. All right. Um, once you're to your dose pump, you want to click on that line button that's in the top left hand corner or the uh, right next to the outlet button. We're going to change the name of your dose pump over to Fido. OK, something meaningful for what you're uh, adding. And then I'm going to take the information that's currently in that um, outlet configuration. I'm going to delete all that. And the first line I'm going to add right after I delete it is this statement called set Fido out. Remember, Fido out removes or clears the line of the uh, dose, okay? Then I wanna make this an on-demand feeding with feed A. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say if feed A, zero, 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 then Fido in. This will add the additive or the food into our tank, okay? And finally, we'll just go ahead and um, update that once we have all of that in place. And now, anytime we hit feed A, um, it will add the solution in and then clear the line and put it back into the container so it can stay nice and cold. Instead, you wanted to uh, schedule these feedings, you could do that as well by simply just removing that um, feed A statement and replacing it with multiple if time statements like this. You can see I have multiple if times that all say that FIDO in. Once those if times are over, it'll immediately revert back to the, uh, the FIDO out program, which will clear the lines. That So let's now see this in action. And so to do that, we're gonna click on the dashboard button. All right, we're gonna click on that feed A button. And once we click on feed A, we should see the dose starting to operate um, and pulling the uh, Fido into the tank. You can see it pulling up, going up there, coming down. And uh, you know this will take about oh, you know 20 or 30 seconds or so. Um, and once it's finished, we're going to see that it's dosed just about 30 milliliters of food like we wanted it to. And then about a minute or two after the feed cycle is over, it's going to go ahead and empty out. One important thing to note in the setup there is that you want to make sure that additive line is above your water level because you don't want to be pulling in any uh, tank water at this point. And that now completes uh, a dose automatic feeding. Um, I hope you guys thought this was uh, inter interesting um, in terms of how to adding fluids in, removing them, clearing the lines, and things like that. And I hope you learned a little bit more about the Neptune Systems dose today.